Hey guys, I'm Rob Bass, and this is Speaking Geek, the only video blog of all the cool, geeky, chicy, wonderful things that we really seem to like. And I'm back at the table, the pictures where it's supposed to be. And today I want to talk about Wonder Woman. I love Wonder Woman. And there's no reason why you shouldn't. She's an iconic female hero. She's an Amazon. She's she's like the first and the best. She's been around for a very long time. And uh, I had this in my house for a long time. I never got to show it to anybody. I never did no videos on it. And it was one of those kind of crossbreed with a comic book and a toy. So I figured I'd do it here. You know, my daughter has been dying to have this. And she's too young right now. So before it gets destroyed, I should show you off. It's the Masterpiece Edition Golden Age. One little package. Look at the size of that. It's a... Uh, I can't even tell you how old this is. It's been, I got it for a while. Uh, it's very cool. You can see like the front of the artwork. You know, it's the one that was from the 40s. It's just got a lot of things. These are their masterpiece edition. Right, tells you all things. Bam. On the back. And the original price there was like 70 bucks. But I didn't pay that because it was a store. I found it in going out of business. I think I got it for like 20, which is. Not bad. I always wanted it. it. was on the shelves for years. So, okay. Let me just show off of it. So it opens up like a like the Velcro, and it opens up like this. You can see right there. You get your Wonder Woman figure, Wonder Woman's first comic, and this hardbound edition. So let me show you this. It's a reprint of Wonder Woman's first comic. See that in the back, and it's got a whole retelling printed. I mean, it's really well printed. Looks identical. I bet you I could see some jackass trying to go, "Hey, I got the first thing. Look at the condition and try to sell it." Uh, <laughs> it's so funny. It's a Superman publication with the DC. Well, look, this is Superman was the man at the time, I guess. DC. And during the time of World War Two, so obviously you're going to see like. There's some great iconic images with Wonder Woman, the horse, you know, just lots of stuff. And the infamous Wonder Woman being bonded together and probably spanked. But you got a lot of cool stuff, you know, a lot of issues of Wonder Woman in here. And it's a really nice, nice, heavy duty summer issue. And as you can see, it goes right into that little first plate image right there. So you put that back. And uh, it's got a lot of text over here, as you can see. And we have this beautiful right here. Can I get it out? Hardbound. More new in the golden age. Beautiful artwork on the back. You know, lots of. Beautiful history of Wonder Woman. I mean, lots of cool things. Look at this. Keen's Feature Syndicate stuff. I mean, there's some amazing. Oh, Wonder Woman being bondage. And I mean, there's so many cool things right here. And there's the famous picture right there. You see it right there? Of the guy who created Wonder Woman. He also created the lie detector. Just in case you guys didn't know that by now. He was the, that's why the last one of truth is basically the lie detector. And he was a scientist. He was a, like, a, like, a, like a psychiatrist or something like that. Whatever he was. And there's a little thing holding it into place. Can I take this out so you can see it a little bit better? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll go leave it in. And then last but not least is the one woman figure. So, see if I can get her out. Yeah. It wasn't too bad so far. Now this is a figure from a long. This is this is like the early 2000s, I want to say. So you're not don't expect this to be highly articulated. This is more like a showpiece. Let me show you in her little clamshell case, and it's a resealable case, so you can just pop it open and you take her out, and there she is. Let's get onto focus camera. 
to be afraid of it. There we go. And uh, she really doesn't have any points of articulation underneath her arms, and her head slightly moves. That's the facial features right there. See that? Traditional. It's got the dress and dress is kind of holding on a like there's a piece of plastic right here. I'm not trying to show up the skirt. I apologize, but she's wearing underwear, so it's okay. And uh, it's it could like articulate a little bit, but these the legs feel very um they're rubbery, like they like rubber. They feel like really soft, mushy rubber, and they can get lint on them very easy. Oh wait, they go. They do bend. See that? I guess to give that kind of a. Now, if you look back there, you see how the, the rubber is bending. So, I wouldn't suggest if you're going to buy this to do that too often. Then she got her heels. And the figure stands moderately okay. But being that she had this really. Oh, wow, it broke. It tore right off the uh, heel. Really just tore off. I just put it back. I don't want to touch it. So, it broke right off the seam. So. There's also weathering. As you can see, it's been in the package for so long that it's got weathering on the legs. So, uh, I would suggest be very careful if you find this on eBay, you want to buy it, and you're excited, you're wondering what collector. I would guess leave it in the case. It's not meant, I guess, to be played with, so my daughter can't. She can't play with this. I won't let her because there will be nothing left. Kind of sad. But. The book collection is definitely worth it. And that's it, man. Are you guys a fan of Wonder Woman? Did you see the Wonder Woman documentary? My friend Juan Pineda, his daughter Katie was in it. And she had a big part. And, you know, people really love it. If you haven't seen it, I think it's coming on DVD soon. It's been released all over the place. And a fantastic movie. Amazing little things. So the people inspired by Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman's an iconic character. There will be no super female superheroes after her. Would have nothing to be based on. Because without her, there is nothing. Alright guys, leave me a video response. Tell me what you think. Uh, would it be something you want to buy? It might be a lot of money now on eBay. Who knows, because it's very rare. Uh, leave me a video response. Comment in the thing. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it guys. So keep subscribing. Uh, tweet me at altminds and my NDZ. Alternativeminds.com. Uh, it's M-I-N-D-Z dot com. Alternative Minds. Lots of stuff happening, guys. Uh, trying to get Not Mitten Box back up and running. It's been a while. That's why I'm doing things like this. But when it gets back up, hopefully you guys will be happy again. Alright? Until next time.